You don't think she's going to be expecting something big, do you? It's been four years, Johnny. You and me have been together for 27 years. Where's my ring? Huh? Where's my ring? Put it on my fuzzy finger. Where's my ring? Come on. Knock it off. I'm just saying. He gets him as a Christmas gift. And, you know, it's kind of like one of those talking bears where you squeeze its hand and it says, I love you. And that's pretty much it. And, you know, he doesn't have many friends growing up in the neighborhood that he's growing up in. So Ted becomes his best friend and he makes a wish that the bear would come to life and his, you know, his Christmas wish is granted. You know, it's a relationship comedy, but it also has, you know, action, adventure, you know, it's, it's got this kind of suspense element to it when once, I don't want to tell you what happens to Ted, but, but uh, it's cool. I mean, I, I read the script, like I said, 30 minutes into it, I completely forgot that it was about a teddy bear. You know, I just thought, well, it's about these guys who are best friends and great relationship. But it took a little while to get used to, but uh, once, once we got into the swing of things, I started feeling, you know, very comfortable with the idea of just acting opposite the whatever they had, whether they had the, the stuffed bear there or they had the, uh, the little stick with the eyes on it. And then, of course, having Seth, you know, somewhere in the room doing the voice was also very helpful. It's Seth on steroids. You know, it really is. Because I saw Family Guy and I was like, wow, I couldn't believe that, you know, he was getting away with some of that stuff in the cartoon. But now, a feature film, Ray Dorar, he really, really pushes the envelope. We hit it off really well when we met and hung out, and it was a very, very pleasant experience. You know, he's just such a nice, warm guy. Uh, as funny as any human being I've ever met in my life, but he's just really cool and easy to work with. You know, there was never any stress or, you know, any difficulty. Mark is a guy who can, who very quietly and humbly can do anything, as far as I'm concerned. He, he, we threw every type of comedy at him in this movie. We, we had him do, you know, subtle dialogue comedy, broad physical comedy. There's even outright drama in this movie. He plays a lot of colors and he just does it all beautifully. <laughs> Why are you crying? Are you drunk and squished by the TV? <laughs> I look stupid. No, you don't. You look dapper. John, I look like something you give to your kid when you tell him grandma died.